Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele. I am so excited to be sharing this very quick and simple assaulted fish and goat meat light soup recipe with you all. This soup is super flavorful and you and your entire family would love it. Let's get started. In this tray, I have some garlic, ginger, onion, habanero pepper. I'll add some cloves calabash nutmeg rosemary and anise seed i'm going to go ahead and blend everything together and set it aside in a bowl i'll add in my fish and today i'm using red snapper or red fish and mackerel you may use any fish of your choice i'll season it with some salt and also some of my sweet actually all-purpose seasoning to this i'll add some of my blended ingredients i'll toss it to the other side and add some of the seasoning there as well now you want to ensure that your fish is well seasoned and also marinated because once you add this to your soup if it is not well seasoned the flavor in the fish will wash right into your soup and you do not want that so i'll be marinating mine for about four to eight hours this is for dinner it is about eight o'clock now and i'm marinating it now so that by the time i'm ready for the soup the fish will have all the flavor that i want okay so cover it up and keep it in your refrigerator here in my pot i have some goat meat that i've washed really beautifully i also have the intestines and the tribe all the good good parts okay to that i'll add the blended ingredients and also some frozen tomato paste you may use any tomato paste of your choice i'll also add in some of my sweet ajele all-purpose seasoning and some salt cover it up and bring it to a boil once it boils i'm going to go ahead and give it a good stir and we'll cook this until the stock around it thickens up beautifully now goat's meat is very tough so i usually steam it for a while until it is halfway cooked before i add in my water so be mindful of that unless whatever type of goat meat you're using isn't as tough as mine all right and be sure that this is the saltiest part of your cooking process because once you add your water into the soup the flavor may wash out and we do not want that okay so yeah this should be the saltiest part as you can see the stock around the meat have begun thickening up already so I'll begin adding in my veggies and I'm adding in half of a red bell pepper that I had in the refrigerator I'll also add in my carrots tomatoes habanero pepper and onion and the meat is still steaming but the reason why i'm adding the veggies now is because as i said the goat's meat is pretty tough so i'm cooking it for a while so hey why not just throw in the veggies so once the stock finally thickens up beautifully just like this do you see how nice and thick it is that means the meat is super flavorful at this point i then add in some hot water you can add cold water but then it'll take a longer time for your soup to come back to a boil so i like to add in some hot water once i do that i'm going to go ahead and give it a good good stir cover it up and cook it until my veggies are well cooked and tender Continental food, madam. Oh, food, madam. International food we'll show you how to make I'm back to check on the soup and the veggies are nice and tender. So I'm going to get everything out and blend it until it is nice and smooth. Pizza, pizza, 
If you have been watching me for a while, you know at this point I'll add in some fresh ginger to wake up the flavors. I'll blend everything and add it into the soup. You may strain this if you want, but I want this soup to be on the thicker side, so I am not. All right, once I added it, I rinse out the blender, added that water, give it a quick stir, bring it back to a boil. Once it boils, I'll lower the heat and have it simmer down for about 15 minutes. And the soup should be about done at that point. Points. And here we are. Our soup is almost done, but don't forget your fish. All right. I brought it out about an hour ago so that it'll come down to room temperature and I'm adding it into the soup. Once the fish goes in, we're just going to allow it to simmer until the fish is cooked, which will be about 10 to 15 minutes. Fish does not take long to cook at all. And from here on, it's only gentle stirring because we do not want to break our fish apart. After 10 minutes of cooking the fish, I'm going to go ahead and add in some basil for the fragrance and flavor. And my goodness, I am so ready for this soup. I used to never mix goat meat with fish, but I made this when hubby and I wanted fish soup and the kids just wanted their regular goat meat soup because they don't care for the fish in the soup. And oh my goodness, let me tell you, I'm a believer now. This is hands down the best goat's meat and fish light soup I have ever made. And there you have it. It is ready for enjoyment. So go right ahead and serve and enjoy. <laughs> Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do not forget to give your girl a thumbs up. Thank you. Share and subscribe if you have not done that yet. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele. Thank you so much for subscribing. And to the Sweet Team, y'all know I love you. Until I see you in my next video, stay safe. Keep loving each other and remember that the love of God and family is life's greatest blessing. And guys, ke unamini uchemi suite mahabutu. Bye y'all.